Hey G Squad, welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, we got this cool, amazing power right here in my hand, if you can see. Basically what this is, is a smart battery camera that you can use as a home security, an office security, uh, a store security camera, whatever you guys want to use it for, that's up to you guys. And the company or brand that made this is by a brand called Azone. And if you guys don't remember, we actually reviewed a product from it in the past. I'll probably link the video of that product in the description box down below, so you can have a different option of what kind of camera you guys want to use or get. But for this one, it's a little bit different than the one I reviewed from last time. This one is actually a wireless camera that you can use basically almost anywhere you just have to recharge the battery every time you guys use it so that's one thing to kind of consider but first thing first let me actually open up and show you what the product looks like first so when you open the product itself you guys can see first thing you guys can see inside is a user manual instruction guide on how to set a product and how to use it you guys can see there is the actual product itself right there and they provide you a little uh, mounting tool so basically here is the security camera itself but let's take a look at the bottom first. So on the bottom, they provide you all those other accessories on here as well. So they provide you a cable, which is a uh, micro USB to USB cable to charge up the product. They provide you a bunch of extra tools to set up the product and a little uh, tool to kind of open up the SD card or the reset button right here. And then last but not least, it's the actual mount itself to mount up the product. So basically this is what the product looks like. You can see there's a lens right here. There's the motion sensor right here, the light vision option here as well. You guys can see that there's a logo right there, a zone right there. And if you guys turn on this side, you can see that there's the power light indicator right here. And if you guys press the button, you guys can actually turn off and on the product right here. So you guys can see when we turn it on, it's red. So you guys we need to pair it up and everything first. This is where you guys will communicate with the other person on the other side when you guys are using the camera. Because this product has a built-in uh, technology for two-way audio. And then if you guys take a look at the bottom right here, you guys can see that there's a charging slot right there. So this is the micro USB slot to charge every product. And they do have option right here where you can open up. So when we open the bottom part right here, you can see that there's two batteries on here. And if you guys take a look right here, there's the micro SD that is provided for you guys already. And the one that they provide you is a 32 gigabyte. So that's pretty cool of them. So for the battery itself, you guys don't actually need to remove it because it's already all set for you guys. If you guys want to remove it, you guys might have a hard time moving because it's really hard to remove it. So they made it in a way where it's like you guys are not supposed to remove the battery because it is rechargeable when you guys plug in the um, micro USB to charge it. So what's really cool about this product is the fact that you have two options to store your videos or pictures or whatever. You can either store it in the micro SD card that they provide you or you can use the cloud storage that is included or provided. So that's basically everything that's on the product itself. The only way for us to find out where actually it works and how well it works is to actually go test it out. So let's actually go do a quick test to see how it works and when it actually works and then come back and talk more about the product itself. So I have the device all set right here already, but let me pair it onto my app itself right here. So when you appear in the app itself, you guys want to use a 2.4 uh, Wi-Fi connection or else it won't work. So first thing, when you guys finish charging the product and everything, you guys can press this button here to activate it. You guys can see that it's on right now. And you guys can see the uh, red light is blinking, so you guys can activate the new device right here. So you guys want to click on uh, battery camera right here. Hold the device power button to start the device. All right, so it tells you the instruction right here, basically what we just did. Please reset the device by holding the reset button for five seconds. Wait for the indicator light to flash red. All right, so I got the device right here. We're going to uh, press the reset button here, here in the bottom for, for four to five seconds. All right, and then we're we'll click next on the device right here. Please remove the protective film from your camera lens. Tap next to show your QR code. Then hold the code in front of the camera lens at a distance of five to eight inches. So after that step, it'll tell you guys to connect onto the Wi-Fi. And after you guys connect on the Wi-Fi, you'll go to this step right here. It'll tell you guys to remove the film on the actual product itself. So that way you can use the lens itself to kind of uh, scan the bar uh, QR code that's gonna be on the next screen. And then we will be connecting the device. So you can see that instantly turned blue right here already. So that's how you guys know that it has successfully connected. So now you guys can see that I say device found. So now we can start using the camera and everything. I'm gonna show you guys what is on here first. So there's a live option, there's a history option, there's a cloud option right here. You guys can screenshot, talk to people using the intercom. You guys can record stuff. You guys can set the motion detection on here. So you can turn it off and on. Very simple. You guys can't really control like where exactly you guys want to focus and whatnot, like certain other ones. You guys can check like the date, the alarms, screenshot, record, all that option on here. You guys can use the cloud option if you guys want to as well. So if you guys don't want to use the SD card and you guys want to use cloud service, you guys have the option on here as well. On the actual screen itself, you guys can see you guys can control the volume, the quality of the video, so HD or standard quality right here. You guys increase the size of the screen right here by clicking that button right there. The battery life shows you guys on here and then the date is show you guys on here. And then you guys go to the setting page, you guys can see that there's this option right here. So you guys can receive notification, you guys can share your device, 
You have to look at the, the vice information, the basic functions, like your speaker volume, night vision, uh, status light, all that stuff is on, on here. You have to set an alarm on here if someone steals your device or something, you have to turn that on. You guys can set your SD card of like how often you guys want to record or how long you guys want to record it for. So 20 seconds, 1 minute, 40 seconds, all that on here. In terms of cloud service, it's not free. So if you guys want to use the cloud service, you guys have to pay for it after like a 7 day trial or whatnot. But that's basically everything that's on the product itself on how to use it and all the different functionality that's on here itself. So we're going to do a quick test of like the audio and everything on the device and the video quality on it to show you guys what it actually kind of looks like and sounds like. So basically here we have the device right here as you can see. I have it set up right here directly at the fruits right here. So if I take a look at the screen of what it looks like right here, you can see this is what it looks like. And I'll probably show you guys the image of the actual device itself. Alright, so as you can see there's a recording button right there, so it's recording now. So basically this is what it looks like when it's on the live mode with uh, the no night vision and everything. So I'm going to turn off the light really quick to show you guys what it looks like with the night vision on. So it's still here as you can see night vision on and this is basically what it looks like with the night vision on so you can see the stuff pretty clearly still but obviously since it's so dark it's harder to see stuff so you guys can see even from my camera itself it's hard to focus and it's really hard to see what is actually recording right there all right welcome back guys so now you guys saw the test of price you can see that it does work and it works really well i love all the different options that provide on here like the high quality 1080p quality of the camera itself uh, the fact that it's, um the fact that you can actually use it wireless so you guys don't actually need to plug it in all the time the fact that it has a motion detection and also the fact that it has two-way audio definitely makes your life a lot easier so then that way you guys can kind of keep track of what's going on around your house or office or wherever you guys want to put this device they also mentioned that this product is waterproof but i wouldn't say that it's actually waterproof because if you guys look at the back side right here the water gets in here i think it's going to damage the product so i wouldn't fully trust the fact that the waterproof that they mentioned on here maybe a little bit water resistant in the fence side right here like if water gets on here then it's fine and the mounting the product is pretty easy as well like if you guys look right here all you guys kind of have to do is push it in like this and it's mounted in like that so really easy to set up and everything and then for this part right here is a ball here so it's actually adjusting how you guys want to as well so so far from a first hand perspective of the product itself i have to say that's actually worth it based on everything that we saw so like the quality of the image the night vision the motion detection the two-way audio the fact that you can actually control it on the app and manage it on the app the fact that you can use the cloud storage or the uh, sd card storage as well uh is really cool so based on everything that i just mentioned i have to say that this product is actually worth it if you guys want one or need one of these so I'm mostly going to do like an update video in like a month or two months or five months whenever I feel like doing it or based on when the battery dies on the product to kind of give you guys an update video about how long the battery life and how the performance is and everything. But then obviously for those guys who don't want one or don't need one or have no use for one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you actually do need. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this little unboxing, testing, and feedback with this product. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, then make sure to click on that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And for today's G-Squad fan shout out day, we have...